start on. I might start on this one. All right, now we're looking at uh, peaches and nectarines, and uh, both of them have the same eating habits. So this is a nectarine tree. Doesn't tell us what type of nectarine it is, but this is this is good result for first year. So this was planted quite a thin little stick, wasn't it, guys? It wasn't very much at all. So what we want to do uh, for you guys in your backyard, uh, for me commercially, um, even even us, we're looking at probably three or four liters to coming up like this, and we can keep the tree. You can see it's quite small, and fruit occurs on peaches and nectarines on these little triple buds like this you'll see so that there that's fruiting fruiting flowers mm -hmm. they'll turn into flowers so there 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 so this this is covered in fruiting wood that so you, yeah it's going to be very nice so what we we look for is lots of new growth and on that new growth that's where we get the fruit okay but we need to establish a frame so what we want to do here is establish three or four fruiting main limbs which will keep coming up yes. so what what I'm going to choose is three or four that are spaced uh, symmetrically around the tree now this one looks good it's got a strong base coming up like that probably this one here three and four all right so what I'm going to do first thing I'm going to do is cut this middle out yeah so that's going to take a a big cut here now look at that difference that's already made. Wow. Look at the difference that's already made. So if, the main thing is you make few cuts, but smart cuts. So now we just wanna get, get these into lines. So we get rid of the low one. So that's no good. These are no good, that's no good. That's no good. Even that one's a bit of a competitor. Let's get rid of them as well. All right, just about finished pruning this tree now, okay? So get rid of that, um, and they're just going to keep growing. Now the thing, there are some different rules with pruning nectarines. So I'm getting rid of anything, once again the 50% rule yep. is still the same, it still counts. So starting from the top, getting rid of, so I want these to grow, I don't want any strong branches uh, competing with the top, and all the way down, I don't want any strong branches. But we don't want long branches coming up either. So with, with nectarines, you're looking at little shorting, shorting, short wood. That one's there, looking a bit strong. So a lot of these are going to get cut in half because all these, that's all fruit. Every single bud there represents a nectarine. Yes. How many nectarines? That's a lot of nectarines. So by doing that, I'm, I'm essentially thinning the fruit out. So I only want two or three pieces of fruit. So you know, for every hand width, is a nectarine or a piece of fruit. That's how you look at it, okay? One, two, one, two, three. So I only really want three along there, I want two, 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 here, you can still probably get two along there, two along there, one, one, one. That's how we, that's how we look at it, all right? Short, short, two. And you think, why are you cutting too many off? Well, the tree can't handle too much more. If I, if I, if you count here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know, there's about 15 pieces of fruit potentially on that. 15, you know, 30, 45, 60 pieces. This tree cannot handle 60 pieces of fruit, I can tell you now. So that's why we just, we can get a few down here, but I want you to pull all the fruit off all this here. Let's let this go up. So you're going to get some fruit down here on these stronger branches, but these up here, I want you to take it all off and let the tree grow. Mm. All right, so same here, let's cut them, just shorten them back, save a bit of fruit. No, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't really matter. So you're, you're replacing, the thing is with nectarines and peaches, is by pruning, remember you're stimulating growth, I'm making a cut, so I'm going to get some new growth coming out of there for next, for next year. All right, so I'm keeping these short. If I let these go long, what happens is they get all kind of leggy and they don't give me new growth. So by cutting them back a bit harder, I'm gonna push new growth out of there. I'm always gonna have a replenishment of fruiting buds. So you do need to cut. So it's quite simple. I think, well, that's, that's quite easy, but there's our tree. And that's been quite boned out, but there's, there's a, still a lot of fruit there, right? Yeah. 
So right. once again, that 50% rule. 50% rule still stands yeah. on these side branches. Yep. Compared to the main. And you want to keep them flat if you can. All right, but there's plenty of fruiting buds here. Let's have a look at another one. We'll 